Hello guys, so this week I have a quick tip for you that can help you save a lot of time when developing locally. So if you've dealt with fetch requests in your local setup, you always get errors like this. Like access to fetch at URL from your local URL has been blocked by cause policy. That's because the no access control allow origin header is not present on the requested resource. So all browsers implement these sort of rules. They call them the same origin rules. So you cannot call a remote uh, URL if that URL does not want your local domain to call it. So that remote URL has to have the cause headers set. That's why they are referencing the access control allow origin header. But sometimes you don't have time to fix this or maybe you don't have access to the resource that you're trying to develop and test with. So you can actually override this temporarily in your Chrome browser. To override this, I just go to the network tab. So let's refresh it and then we see the failed request here, right? So you just select on the request you go to the response headers and then when you hover over the headers here, you see a pencil icon here. So when you click on it, you'll get this prompt here. Select a folder to store overrides in. You select a folder. So we can say use the documents folder. Then we select it. So after that, at the top of your browser window here, you'll see DevTools request full access to your documents folder. Make sure you do not expose any sensitive information. So you can select a folder here that does not have your sensitive documents. And then you click allow. So after allowing, you now get this add header UI under the response headers. So you can click add header and then we can add the access control allow origin header. And then we put a star as the value, which means it will allow request from any domain. So after that is set, let's try to refresh the page. And just like that, we are able to make requests to our API URLs and they respond with data without us having to add the cross origin request headers. So if you're having the cause headers, you can just enable the overrides in Chrome and then forget about it temporarily until you get to fixing it. So that's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.